All right. Again, welcome to the webinar. If you have any questions on remote coaching, please tee them up in the Q&A box. Uh, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. And I'm going to jump into this one. Hopefully, this is the one I want to share. Yes, it is. All right. So we get a lot of questions about the marketing side. And so what I wanted to do today, and I'll, I'll steer the conversation other ways if, if you all want me to, but what I wanted to do today was to go over some tools that I use or that we use as a company uh, from the marketing side that I think uh, you all as coaches would have a, a really good opportunity to use as well. And they're all uh, relatively inexpensive. Now we use other tools that are crazy expensive. I won't reference those, but I think uh, these are very simple and easy ones to use. So the first one would be Canva. If you're not familiar with Canva, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a great platform to do very, very quick kind of just uh, design work here. You can use it for free and then you can maybe, I think it's 12 bucks a month if you wanted access to more templates and a lot of other things that they offer. But it's a really, really great platform to use for any of these quick Instagram posts or anything that you might want to reuse. So Here's one as an example of a podcast promotional one that I did when our designer was out. So occasionally, I mean, for most of the part, our design team does this, but I'm capable through something like Canva to make some good looking stuff. Like this one I made the other day uh, for a new partner that we have. And you can see that it came through and I've got all these different things here and all these different tools. So Canva is a great one to try out. If you have never heard about it before, please give it a shot and uh, we can go over a little bit more if you want. The other, if you're not in the mood to do it yourself, you're not a do-it-yourselfer, uh, Fiverr and other platforms like this where you can hire freelancers, uh, 99designs is another one that I've highlighted before. So if you're looking for logos or quick website re redesigns, these are, are great ways or great places to go. And you can get contractors from all over the world and have a decent price point at that level, which is going to be really helpful. I also have talked on previous episodes of this webinar that if you're paying someone to build out your website, at least consider that as uh, an option, but not the only way that you have to go. Now, if you have the dollars and you have a relationship, totally do it, right? Why, why not give it to somebody that can do it, probably do it better than you. And ultimately it's less time that you have to focus on that and you can focus on coaching. But given that we are kind of on the lockdown, right? And we're not actively outside coaching as much as we once were. Uh, there are plenty of opportunities to get your website into your own hands or your marketing into your own hands and create some systems that can work on your behalf. So from there, let's talk about Wix. Um, and we'll talk about a couple other uh, website builders or landing page builders that I've used and I think a lot of coaches uh, are using and a lot of other startup friends that I have are using these as well. So Wix is super, super simple. You probably have heard about it. I mean, they're a massive company. They're, they're doing a lot of marketing, but it's a drag and drop editor. You don't need to be an expert at any level. They're simple, simple templates that you can use. And the price point is totally fair for what you have. Um, so again, if you're finding yourself having to contact somebody to make a simple text change on your website or add a button, I would highly encourage you to try to get some more of this in your own hands. Uh, a decent example of that is even my, my parents. We've owned restaurants for 30 years. And now with everything going on, they've got to contact this person that is, is very unresponsive, right, to change some things on the website. And so they're going to be ending that relationship and doing all the things that I'm suggesting that they do. Uh, another platform which is not as widely popular uh, in the world, but I really like, and I actually use this for other projects that I do, it's called MailerLite. And the reason I like this is because I'm very focused on landing pages, so very, very simple call to action little websites. And then putting people through an email funnel, right? Building a campaign to where they get messages ongoing so that you can uh, stay in touch with them and you have some automation built into your life. So if you're using Wix or even Squarespace, if I click on uh, Squarespace here, these two platforms have started to introduce email um, capability in the background on top of their pages. But for the price, you really can't beat MailerLite, honestly, if you're looking for a very simple landing page builder and the ability to do a visual, and I won't click through it now because it's you know, too much, but a visual um, email funnel. So what I mean by that is that if you create a landing page, right, and you've got somebody clicking the button, like this sign up free button here, I'm going to go through this process and then I'm going to get a series of emails saying, hey, congratulations, you've got your account, here's your tutorials, right, et cetera, right, all that. You can do that very much for anything that you're selling. Let's say your remote coaching packages. 
You can have the sign-up flow go through a process like this. They then pay you or inquire. They go through a series of messages. Now, the beautiful part about something like MailerLite versus um, something like MailChimp or Constant Contact, they make it really easy to do an if this, if this, then that email campaign. And what I mean by that is that if somebody doesn't click the first email, they'll get a reminder about that same email. If they click through and don't buy, they'll get a different email. If they complete certain steps but not others, you can tee up other trees, other pathways to get them back on the main path that you want. And this is a super affordable uh, platform. Highly encourage that you look at it. If you're not the marketer or don't want to be the marketer, if you have somebody on your team that is that, let's just make sure you reference some of the stuff that I'm sharing with you to see if it would be of interest. Um, Because this is the way that if you look outside the world of coaching, this is the way that bigger businesses are built. And I like to pass along those lessons to you from a startup standpoint or from a you know, pretty big business standpoint so that uh, your coaching business can take the appropriate steps as well and not just follow along um, with the, the status quo. So we've got Squarespace, already talked about them. I'm a big fan of theirs as well. And if you are looking to build a, a page or a site with more buttons and a you know, kind of a broader uh, application, this is a great one. It's also really good for photos. And then if we go into scheduling, this is my favorite one. Now, it's not as built out as, let's say, something like MindBody Online, which is probably the most built out uh, scheduling software you can get, and they're, they're huge in the business. But if you're looking for something pretty dang simple, Calendly is one I definitely recommend. There's a free tier, and then once you get in, it's like 10 bucks, honestly, uh, if that's something you're looking for. The cool thing about Calendly, you have your own links. You can create your... Um, own events. And these events allow you to have um, different calls. So one of the things I'm always encouraging coaches, especially right now, is to book a call with a prospective client. So your call to action on your website, ideally, is to contact you. You set up a 10-minute call, you get to know them, you do a little assessment, and you sell them on a package. That can be done very easily by using something like Calendly and uh, Zoom or GoToMeeting or even I think you can integrate it with Google Meets. You know, you can use it with whatever you want. Um, So I think it's a really great platform for you all to look at. Uh, And I think, honestly, it has the capability to be used in your day-to-day world because we've used it in that way, and I I think it works really well. Now, uh, let's talk about social media scheduling. Now, this this particular one, if you're a coach on here, you're likely going to be using Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You're likely not going to be using LinkedIn as much to connect with your audience. Now, LinkedIn is a great way to connect with other professionals, but that's not usually what you're trying to pull off um, from a remote coaching standpoint. You're trying to get some more customers. So later.com, above and beyond the best social media uh, scheduler if you're looking for something uber simple and want to be Instagram focused, which I think a lot of you want to be. Now, the great thing about this is not only is it incredibly easy to publish content, you can tell just even by how it looks, right? They're very designed, design forward, which means that their platform is very easy and they're going to give you a lot of great education around how to grow your social media audience. Sadly, I, I recommend this service, but I'm not a member of it anymore because we use LinkedIn uh, quite a bit and we're using it more and more from a professional standpoint. But for anything personal that I would want to do on Instagram or whatever else, if I were in your shoes, this is what I would be using. Uh, and honestly, even though I'm not a full-fledged member, I'm still, I still have an account and I get access to all of their newsletters and their content, top-notch, right? Their education is really, really, really good. So highly recommend this platform as well. It's one of the most affordable, if not the most affordable to post to these different platforms. Uh, if they ever get LinkedIn, I'm going to jump right back on here because I, I dig it. All right. I'm going to talk about another one here. This is called headliner.app, uh, but mostly headliner. Now, this platform is really, really cool if you are looking to um, create little videos that come from audio. So if you're someone doing a podcast or have recorded audio in any way or even just recorded a video that you're trying to chop up, this is a great platform to use. You can make 10 videos for free a month. That's probably all you might need to make anyway. But the great thing is it comes across and it makes it very easy to bring your audio and turn it into a video. So you can see here through the thumbnail, this originally was a podcast clip, and then you can put a a photo behind it and do this. So if you've seen people making kind of interactive audio clips or audio posts on social media, they're probably using a tool like this. 
Um, let's say if we go to their gallery here, uh, I didn't do a lot of prep for this particular site, so this might not be, okay, so this is loading up. So you can kind of get a, a sense of the type of content that you can produce. I've been in incredibly impressed with this platform for quite some time. They continue to update it. They have a free tier and then they have a paid tier as well. So let's go ahead and look at their features for you. Right, so you can take these waveforms and turn them into little videos. You can even, if you do have a podcast, you can plug it into the RSS feed. It'll take your podcast and automatically turn it into a video for you through a template of your choosing. Um, so it's, it's pretty dang fantastic. And I think their education is really solid as well. And as you can tell by even just doing this call with you today, uh, I'm a big fan of software products that also provide education because I think that's what we have to do. We've got to move the industry forward. So I'm going to pause right there and I'm going to encourage the participants that we do have. I know we don't have a ton, but for those of you that are here, um, I would definitely encourage you to ask any questions you can about anything I just covered, or maybe you've got a service that you recommend that you think I should highlight, or maybe you've got a question about a service you're using. If you have your website and you want me to maybe take a look at it, and review it for um, the call to action or kind of the structure of the site. Um, I'm happy to do that. I know we have a great coach named Scott on the call today and I was able to do that for him last week. Um, so if you have any of that stuff, please feel free to, to add it in here so that I'm not uh, just kind of blindly looking around. So we have a recommendation on another platform. So I am familiar with this group. Uh, so I'm gonna bring them up as well so that you can be familiar with it too if you're not. So you schedule has been around for quite some time. Whoa, where did you go you schedule? So I personally don't have a ton of experience with them uh, because as far as a company is concerned, we've been using things that aren't uh, specifically built in this way. So let me figure out how to, okay. I don't know why it kicked me off, but I do know that they're popular for sure. And so if you're looking for another, um, scheduling platform and billing platform. This is one that you can definitely take a peek at. Um, there are other platforms out there. Like I said, there's mind body online. Um, there's acuity, right? There's other things that are, are, are very big in the space that might be something for you to look at, but you know, you schedule is a, is a popular one. Um, so thank you for that recommendation. So that's another one that we can tee up there. Again, if you have anything else that you want to share, please do. Um, I'm going to try to, to kind of circle back to some of the things I've spoke about earlier while we maybe wait for some questions to come in. So one of the things that continues to come up is how to bill and how to package and all of these things. So we've gone into depth about this in former calls, but if you have any questions about that, I'd be happy to cover it as well, or you can review um, former webinars that I've done on this subject. All right, so let's talk a little bit about coach now while we maybe wait for some other questions to come in. Um, so I want to just make sure that we're all on the same page here because you guys are brand new to the call today. Uh, might as well talk about it. So we renamed, and even though this URL needs to be changed, I got to point that out to my guys. Um, we've renamed teams to groups. And the reason why we're going to be making some continued shifts to simplify this for everyone is that the Teams feature was not something that was meant to be in the structure that it was. It just kind of was a holdover from other work that we were doing. Um, and it became more confusing than, than helpful to anybody. So really what you have now is you have groups and channels. So if we go into here, this is going to be, and in this case, I just have a title there saying this is a group pricing example, but this is the remote coaching group. And then you've got these different channels here. Um, channels are going to be a great way for you to organize your content and your people, but think content first. And this is going to be a great way for you to deliver an interactive learning community of sorts. So if you're using coach now exclusively in the one-to-one -one environment, good for you. Keep doing it. I'm not going to stop you. But if you do want to build out some sort of interactive group concept as a way for people to get more access to you or for the people that aren't quite ready to pay you, uh, full price for your one-to-one -one coaching if you're, if you're charging more for that, this is a great way to do it. We've seen other coaches use this exact same format and are charging two, $300 a month, even for this kind of interactive community aspect. So you can put a, a pretty solid price point on it. When you create something like this, you also have the ability to include this share link or invite with email. I like the share link in most cases, especially if people are not inside of CoachNow already. And you can add this into your billing platform receipt. 
So let's say you are using you schedule. Um, you create some sort of product within that you sell it. And the end result product though is access to you in this group. Uh, this link can be embedded under a button. They click through and they are automatically a part of your universe. So as a part of that, let's use a good example here. Da, 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 where are you? Ah, here it is. So this is a, a partnership we have with Golf Digest. They do the same thing that I just said, which is uh, sell something and then invite someone in via a link. You can see they got a good amount of members here. Um, and these are, all, these are all people that are paying a certain dollar amount a month. I'm not gonna quote it just because I know it's a little different depending on what package they have. Um, but you can see you've got your general channel here and then you've got these other channels for um, the specific content that they're highlighting. And they feature a different coach each and every week. Obviously, if you're on this call, you're probably not, you don't have that kind of capacity, but if you do have a partner or a, um, a coworker or a teammate in that way, that's something that you can do. Uh, one of the other things that is just kind of coming to mind that might be interesting to at least speak about while I have you, this isn't coach now specific, but it is a way to drive some revenue. And that's what I'm ultimately here to help you do. Um, last week I highlighted a coach and let's see if I can, Pull it up really quick. Uh, I think it was Erica. I think this is what she did. So just bear with me here. I'm kind of working on the fly since I'm not seeing any questions coming in. I think she did this. There we go. All right. Yes, it was her. Okay. So this is something here that I think all of you can do. Um, and maybe you're not doing it yet. So just give, a, give it a think, right? You can do webinars and live clinics in exactly the way that I'm doing it now, right? Use Zoom or something similar, send out a link. You can have people pay ahead of time to join you and some other um, coach along the way. And then you can create a group, any of these groups that I've shared with you here. So let's just go down to like this Wildcat soccer one, um, just so that we can see how it would work. And you can, let's say, we'll create a recording channel. And I'll just say recordings because channel would be redundant. And we'll say auto join. So anybody that joins the uh, group will automatically be in here. I'm going to create the channel. And now it's adding the current members and we'll add more later. Now, so one of the cool things about this is that you can go back to what I was just saying. You can do this clinic. You can charge people 15 bucks ahead of time. They can come on and join you and some other coach that you might be collaborating with. They can ask questions and it's a really cool experience. So you can take what you normally do in person and bring it online. You can take that recording, toss it into a group that you then invite those same people into. And then from there, they continue to get value on what you're doing, right? So you can toss the recordings in there and now they are a lead to be sold other things, right? Either one-to-one -one coaching through a space or they can, or you can continue to monetize that group in some other way. So hopefully that general idea gives you a little bit of something to, to think on in the sense that it doesn't always have to be one-to-one. -one. It doesn't always have to be a recorded video. You can do something live and then turn it into an ongoing asset, which is very similar to what I'm doing today. I record this, I'm on here with you today. I record it and I put it out there for future consumption. All right, so groups have been renamed, or sorry, teams have been renamed to groups. I think that's something important for you to see, uh, especially for those of you that have attended. Now, I'm going to just highlight a couple other things here, just as I roll, because this is going to be the last webinar I do in this way. I want us all to remember the one-to-one -one aspect. And so if you have any questions on CoachNow specifically, or anything that I'm sharing, you know, I'm going to keep encouraging you to keep tossing it in. Um, hopefully what I'm saying is of value, but it's unlikely I'm, I'm hitting all of the marks that you might want. Um, so with that, let's keep going. So in here, you're going to see that we've got Christina and her golf space. And as we scroll down, you're going to see some, and we're no longer working together. She's not really playing anymore after she graduated college. She's moved on to other things, but we still have a great record here. Um, if she ever wanted to pick back up. So now you're seeing a comment from me. You're seeing some of our time together. And as we scroll down, you're going to see a lot of content coming from her. Now, this was a relationship that was born by seeing each other a couple times a month. She lives a few hours away, so she would make the big trek over to see me. We'd work together for two hours at a time at minimum. 
I would capture the content while we're together, as you're seeing here. We'd work on everything. And then she'd be going off on her own to practice and we'd be keeping in touch and then working with her mental trainer and then her dad, who is a, a TPI certified coach. Now, I want us to all think about what are we going to do when we get out of quarantine? There's no reason why you shouldn't maintain this level of coaching when we get back to quote unquote normal, right? So you should be using coach now in your sessions to capture what's most important so that you don't have to go home and do things later. And then you should be encouraging your athletes to stay in touch with you while they're gone, even if they only live five minutes away. And this should also be built into your model. So ideally you're going to work out some sort of way to not only charge hourly, but get people bought into some sort of program. You can't encourage that enough, right? It, it incentivizes them to practice more. It gives you um, a repeatable and uh, an expected level of income each month, which is really, really important for all of us. Uh, because I can tell you a lot of you that are on this call, as well as everyone I've talked to before, you were very much caught off guard when things happened uh, as they did this year. But the coaches that were actively using Coach Now in person and as a way to stay connected and had their billing and programming built in such a way, they've continued to have success, honestly. They've seen very little dip, if any, in their business because this is how they've built it in. Um, and people are just as happy to keep paying the same amount of money each month to keep uh, progressing in their sport. And this is not just for golf, this is for everything, right? So, and even if you are a seasonal coach, I want, you to encourage, I want to encourage you to not be seasonal. There is no reason if your facility is shut down due to weather or anything else that you can't continue to have a successful coaching business. Hopefully this time will teach you that and you will have these systems in place to deliver value no matter what. And that goes not only for these personalized, very high touch relationships, it goes into the groups I was just highlighting, it goes to um, creating some sort of online interactive uh, webinars or, or clinics, however you wanna look at it. It also goes back to the things I've already mentioned. How can you create meaningful content that gets people excited and they're on your newsletter or they're on your newsletter and they're inside of Coach Now where you can communicate to them either in a group or another feature we have called segments, right? So this is a, a very small example, but we have coaches that use segments and they have thousands of athletes in here that they've coached over the years and they're able to do a bulk message by using this particular feature here on the computer or on the phone. And on the phone, it's really cool because you, or even on the computer, but a phone, you can just record a quick video and say, hey everybody, just thinking of you. And it goes out to either these nine spaces or it might go out to a few thousand if you're a guy like Martin Chuck. Um, so we, we have these ways for you to bulk communicate. So there's no reason you should really ever be leaving a space once you've worked hard to uh, get that relationship and kick it off. You want to do as much as you can to stay in front of people. All right, so off that tangent, back to these other services, just recapping. You have an opportunity to have people help you with your logos and your, your visual content if you want at a contractor's rate, uh, and even less than that if you're looking for overseas people, which this service has. You've got these website builders, so I'd encourage you again, take some of this into your own hands if you can. You've got schedulers like Calendly or USchedule. Uh, there it is, USchedule, and a dozen others, right? There's, there's a whole lot out there. Um, I, I tend to like Calendly for the simplicity of it. You've got your social media scheduler here through later.com, and you've got headliner here if you want to make some cool content. So, I've gone for 25 minutes nonstop talking. Um, I'm glad to see another question coming in because I was about to uh, give, it a, give it a wrap up here. Um, so let's see here. Can you bulk communicate through groups as well or is it better through segments? Do you have to invite an athlete into segments or can you just put them in? Great question, great technical question. Thank you, Scott. All right, so we're gonna be making some changes over time because we wanna improve a lot of this, but how it works today is in segments, you are in complete control of how you do this. Um, the key to understand is that you're ultimately putting a space in a segment. See here, it says golf, golf, golf. And if I go back here, it says the name golf, golf, and then getting started, right? So ultimately, Andrew DeMille might have seven different spaces. So I'm not necessarily putting the athlete in here. I'm putting the space in here. I'm putting the area that we communicate in this segment. So you can control this and someone, uh, a space can be a member of as many segments as you want because someone, 
that you're coaching may have a space that fits into adult pro, or maybe you're coaching them today on the mobile device. I love to use the today segment because I have such a long list. And if I'm coaching eight people or doing some sort of semi-private coaching, I like to use uh, the segment on the phone to quickly navigate to their individual spaces rather than scrolling through the whole list. Um, so that's a little quick tip for you there. Um, so segments, you can add as many people there. You are completely in control. Sorry, you can add as many spaces there. You're completely in control. No one sees it. Nobody knows about it except for you. If you do have other coaches that you work with, we've created something in the background that allows you to share segments. It's just not customer facing just yet. So segments, think about it like a BCC email, right? You can send out a message to these nine different spaces. It lands in nine different spaces. They have no idea that you sent it to anybody else. So if you sent a general message like, hey, thinking of you, curious how practice is going, right? Boom, 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 it goes to nine people's spaces. They get a ding on their phone. Ah, coach is thinking of me, this is great. They reply in their space, no one else sees it, right? Just for them, just for you, or whoever's in that space, okay? Groups are what they sound like. A group is a way for you to do this bulk communication, but it builds community uh, more so because everyone else is seeing their replies, right? So another one here, as an example, I think as an example, just go to this one, right? The one that I manage with Level Up, right? So I don't have an individual relationship with these 32,000 people that are in here, and nor would I, because that's unmanageable, that's insane. So I use groups in order to organize my content and share certain things. And you're gonna see some of these channels changing soon. I, I kind of teased that I was gonna do that earlier, but I uh, kind of waited for a few other reasons that I won't talk about now. But the gist is, is that I can build community, I can make a post, it gets some likes, as people reply, everyone sees the reply under the thread, right? So it's just like a, a Facebook group or a group text message. So it very much depends on how you want people to interact with you and or each other to decide which way you're going to do this bulk communication. Um, the power coaches, the ones that really leverage coach now to its fullest, use a combination of the two. Um, I think if you're a traditional coach, this might be a great example to have a group focused on your camps or your clinics, right? Like PJ Junior camps or Wildcat soccer camp. Uh, IMG, the big academy in Florida, they use Coach Now for every sport. And they have thousands of campers that go through their facility every year. And so they have a group for each week of camp. And then they also have a group that has all of their campers in it. So I think this past year, they just in the past week, they invited 17,000 campers in and they're using Coach Now as a way to communicate to all those campers and hopefully get them to go through it again. But they're doing it in a group. They're not creating, although there is 17,000 spaces for these campers, uh, shockingly enough, and across a lot of this, uh, they're using the groups because they want to build that community aspect. Um, so long-winded answer to a great question. Uh, if you've got any more, keep them coming in. I'm going to stay on for another minute or two, but I've already recapped what I've gone over. We've got some technical questions that we just went through, which is awesome. Um, but I'm kind of running out of voice steam, especially if we don't have any questions coming in. Um, and I don't want us to keep rattling on just for the sake of it. So I'm going to hang on for another 60 seconds or so. If you got questions, toss them my way. Otherwise, we're going to wrap this up. As I threaten to wrap it up, what I am going to tell you, though, is that I'm going to kind of restructure the way that we do our time together. I'm going to do something. I'm, uh, I'm going to see how it goes. I, I can't promise you that it's going to be ongoing because it might not work. Uh, but I'm going to do something more congruent with what's called an open office. So I'm going to post a Zoom link uh, sometime soon. And it's not going to be a webinar in this way where it's me presenting. The goal is everyone can jump on the call. You got your cameras on, you got your audio on, and we're going to have an open chat. I'm going to try to do that every week. Um, hopefully we get a good turnout. I'm sure that we will if we get too crazy of a turnout and that's not that valuable because no one can talk and it's just nuts, then I'll find out another thing to do. Um, but I want to do something a little more interactive now that we've got a lot of this uh, top level education out. I want to give everyone an opportunity to um, ask their questions a little more directly and have an open chat, not only with myself, but potentially um, other coaches across different sports as well. So with that, uh, I think uh, we'll wrap it up today. I'll be shooting this one out as a recording because I, I didn't cover some of this stuff before. So I think it's going to be a worthwhile recording. I'll shoot it out in a couple days and I'll, I'll let everybody know here as well uh, about what's next as far as how to interact and get some ongoing education. 
So thank you everybody for joining. Really appreciate your time. And uh, Scott, thanks for the great questions. And we will catch you all later. Have a good rest of the day. See ya. Thank you.